The recent release of Blazing Vortex introduces the retrained Arm Dragon Thunder archetype. This is one of my personal favorites of all time. We even opened up a booster box on the channel not too long ago, so be sure to check that video out as well. Today, we will be featuring my very own Arm Dragon deck profile. We will also be covering the basic combos and functionality of this deck to help you learn how to play it. For those who are watching for the very first time, welcome to the Vault channel. But first of all, I'd like to ask all you guys to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile videos. Also, be sure to give this video a like as it greatly helps support the channel. For today's deck profile, we will be using the OCG Wind Attribute Sleeves to match our Arm Dragons, which is also Wind Attribute. If you guys want to get some of these amazing official Yu-Gi-Oh! artwork sleeves all the way from Japan, be sure to visit the Evolt eBay store. The links will be included in the description box down below. For our monsters, let's begin with the Arm Dragon Core. To start off with the triple copies, we play Arm Dragon Thunder Level 3, Arm Dragon Thunder Level 5, and Armed Dragon Thunder Level 7. We then have two copies of Arm Dragon Thunder Level 10, which is our iconic boss monster of this deck. This card has quite a lot of effects that pays tribute to Chaz's Chaz It Up quote from the anime based on its attack being 1, 10, 100, 1000, and 10,000. Anyways, right on summon, it will immediately gain the effects of being named as Arm Dragon Level 10, Control of this monster cannot switch, cannot be destroyed by battle, and once per turn quick effect, it can destroy a card on the field by sending one card from your hand to the graveyard as cost. The 10,000 plus attack effect allows you to blow up the entire field except itself. However, achieving that high of an attack will be quite difficult, which is really not the main goal of this deck. Although I would admit, it would be really cool if you managed to pull it off. All the Arm Dragon cards have an effect that becomes their own retrospective original names while being in the field or in the graveyard, excluding Arm Dragon Thunder level 10. The Arm Dragon Thunder archetype also reinvents the level summoning mechanic. Instead of having to meet various slow requirements turn by turn like before, they are now able to level up instantly simply by sending one monster from your hand to the graveyard, including itself, to special summon the next level from your hand or deck. Simply in one turn, you're able to level up your Arm Dragon Thunder level 3 all the way to level 10. Additionally, each Arm Dragon Thunder levels 3, 5, and 7 have extra effects when they are sent from the hand to the graveyard to activate a dragon type monster's effect. Arm Dragon Thunder level 3 lets you draw a card. Arm Dragon Thunder level 5 allows you to add a level 5 or higher wind dragon monster from your deck to your hand. And Arm Dragon Thunder level 7 searches any Arm Dragon card and you can add it from your deck to your hand. This means you would really want to send these Arm Dragon Thunder level monsters from your hand to the graveyard when activating the level up effects. This will give you a huge amount of resource maintenance as well as digging through your deck to set up your board extremely quickly. For our last and new Arm Dragon support boss monster, we have two copies of the Arm Dragon level 10 white. This card must be special summoned from your hand via its own effect by banishing Arm Dragon level monsters from your field and or graveyard, which totals up to the level of 10. Then on summon, you can add white view from your deck to your hand which we will talk about more when we get into the spells later. This card protects you from any effect damage. It can even destroy a card on the field at the start of damage step when it attacks. Summoning this card is not difficult at all, as you would usually bring it out right after you've gone through your Arm Dragon Thunder level up combo. This rounds up for our Arm Dragon core for the deck as we move on to a couple of other supporting monsters for this deck. Right here, we have three copies of Artillery Catapult Turtle. This monster is great to help you bring out your Arm Dragon Thunder level 5 or any level 5 dragon type higher monsters directly from your hand or deck. Just generally the perfect card to help you get started. We then have one copy of Tempest, Dragon Ruler of Storms, which synergizes very well with your Arm Dragon Thunder monsters when discarding them to activate this card's effect. In some occasions, it can also become a very good searcher for the Arm Dragon Thunder monsters if this card is banished as well. And then we have one Dino Wrestler Pankratops since it is a really good generic going second card for free special summon and pop effect. 
Now moving on to our hand traps, we play of course the three copies of Ash Blossom as well as Psy Frame Gear, Gamma, and the Driver Package. This basically sums up all our monsters for the main deck, let's move on to our spells. Once again, let's begin with our new Armed Dragon related spells. Starting off, we definitely play three of, not any less, of the Armed Dragon Flash. This is a quick play spell which basically allows you to immediately special summon a level 3 Armed Dragon monster directly from your deck. Another really important card to help you fire off your combos. Next, we have two Arm Dragon Blitz, which helps you recur your Arm Dragon monsters back to your hand, which can be utilized for discarding for the level up plays, or even special summon them to extend your combos. I personally would even consider playing this card at 3. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Moving on, we also have two copies of Arm Dragon Lightning. This time, it is a continuous spell which offers a one-time protection against card destruction effects. It basically protects your Arm Dragon monsters by sending this card to the graveyard. The next effect provides you two options, where the first one allows you to boost your Arm Dragon monsters attack, or similarly to Arm Dragon Blitz which we just saw, you can add an Arm Dragon monster from your graveyard back to your hand to maintain your supply for discarding. And to round off, we have one copy of White Veal, which is actually an older card. White Veal is an equip spell which coordinates very nicely with Arm Dragon level 10, White. We want this card to be searched via Arm Dragon level 10's White's effect, meaning we do not want to draw this card at all. The White Veal equipped to Arm Dragon level 10, White, basically allows you to pop your opponent's cards when attacking, prevent any spell or trap activations, and even destroy all your opponent's back rows when the Arm Dragon level 10 white destroys a monster by battle. The best thing about this is pulling it off is very easy. You don't necessarily have to do this every single time as white view can be equipped to any other monster in general. Furthermore, Arm Dragon level 10 white does protect you from the 3000 damage that you may take from white view. However, keep in mind that this does not work if both white view and Arm Dragon level 10 white leave the field at the same time. So that's all our Arm Dragon spells and here are some of our generic spells. We play 3 copies of Pot of Extravagance, which I find it the best and most suitable draw power card for the deck. We also have 1 Harpy's Feather Duster for extra back row clearing so that we can safely swing into our opponents for massive damage, without having to worry about too much. That's it for our spells, let's move on to our traps right here. We only play 3 copies of Dragon's Bind. This is an extremely powerful card that completely locks your opponent out if you were to go first. We could usually end the turn with at least one of the level 10 Arm Dragon monsters, which easily fulfills the requirements of activating this card. So that rounds off our entire main deck, as there are exactly a total of 40 cards, and let's head into our extra deck. To start off with our Xyz monsters, we run 3 copies of Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gustav Max, and also 3 copies of Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Juggernaut lead. The common combo is to use our level 10 Arm Dragon monsters to overlay into Gustav Max and then into Juggernaut lead, which then leads to our OTK plays. Since this will be our primary win condition, maximizing each of these three is crucial to decrease the chances of them being banished via Pot of Extravagance's effect. Next, we have one Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack as an alternative rank 7 play by overlaying our Arm Dragon Thunder level 7 or even Tempest together. Now moving on to our Synchro Monsters, I like to keep one copy of Cyframe Lord Omega and one Draco Berserker of Tenyi, depending on the situation of what we need if we are able to resolve Cyframe Gear Gamma and Driver during our turn. Right here for our Link Monsters, we have two Heratic Seal of Heavenly Spheres, which is always a good standard interruption for Dragon based decks. There is one Twin Triangle Dragon which is really good for follow up plays that enables us to special summon a level 5 or higher monster from our graveyard to lead into further extra deck summons. We also have an Access Code Talker which can help us secure our wins. It is a very good example how it can be easily be summoned after Twin Triangle Dragon. And then to round off, we do have the usual nightmare package of Phoenix and Unicorn to round off for our extra deck. Now that we have our deck profile completed, let's show you guys some of the basic combos of the new Arm Dragon level up mechanic of how it works and what it can do. We simply need to begin with Arm Dragon Thunder level 3. If it's in our hand, we can normal summon it. If it's not, we would want to bring it to our field through Arm Dragon Flash or have Artillery Catapult Turtle that would help us skip straight to Arm Dragon Thunder level 5, which works too. Once we have Arm Dragon Thunder level 3 on the field, we will use its effect to send one of our monsters from our hand to the graveyard. Ideally, any other Arm Dragon Thunder monsters that we have in our hand would help us recoup additional resources as we go through this combo. 
right here, Arm Dragon Thunder level 5 comes out, and it is important that you would want to special summon the level up versions from your deck and not from your hand if possible. Now repeat the same process by sending Arm Dragon Thunder level 5 with its effect to special summon Arm Dragon Thunder level 7 from the deck, and then repeat again to end off with Arm Dragon Thunder level 10. Now to further extend this, we will want to have Arm Dragon level 10 white in our hand. There are several ways to get this card to our hand, which includes Arm Dragon Thunder level 7's effect when being sent from the hand to the graveyard, Arm Dragon Blitz, or even Arm Dragon Lightning if it was there in a graveyard already. You would then banish Arm Dragon Thunder level 7 and level 3 from your graveyard to special summon it from your hand. You then search for a white veal from your deck and add it to your hand. Now you have two level 10 monsters on your board ready to go into your rank 10 Xyz plays. Overlay those two monsters to special summon Super Dreadnought, Rail Cannon, Gustav Max. Depending on the situation, you may or you may not want to use its effects to detach and inflict 2000 life points to your opponent. Afterwards, then overlay into Juggernaut Leap. Don't forget you will also have White Veal in your hand which you may choose to equip it to Leap as well. After that, you swing right into your opponent for the OTKs and win the game. Overall, this deck is very fun and straightforward to play. I personally feel that the new Arm Dragon Thunder engine enables new routes that could be combined with other Dragon decks. That basically rounds up for our Arm Dragon deck profile and combo video for today. Please keep in mind to use my build as a base reference to your own creations. What do you guys think? If you guys have any suggestions or ideas, be sure to share it in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give this video a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell for more Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profiles. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day, great night, wherever you are. Stay tuned for the next video, and this is Vault, signing out.